Okay, <clears throat> so our next step here is dealing with the neck. A few issues we got to tackle with the neck on this fine seagull here, this vintage seagull. Never thought I'd say that, but whatever. <clears throat> anyway, when it first came in, the neck angle to the bridge was suspect because it had not been taken care of, etc., etc. Time and age had uh, uh, had their way. But now we're getting it back in order and just uh, dealing with the top, flattening that out and, and getting this back in, in um, good neck certainly helped a lot. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check the neck, the neck for straightness. Um, and I got my notched notched ruler here, or straight edge I, su I should say. And okay, we're going to use a, what is it, four mil uh, hex adjuster, Allen key if you would. Now, I'll tell you right away, that truss rod adjuster is brilliant. It's mint. Whatever type of truss rod in here is probably single action as they call it is not binding it's super super responsive see there's a little wiggle in the middle there okay and give that another just a little bit of a turn oh so close so close you know small amounts small amounts we're talking like fractional, not quarter, not an eighth, not uh, whatever feels like it's doing the job. That's pretty close. Yeah, maybe a little bit more, one more, one more little tweak. What I'm trying to do is get the neck, um, let's say factory straight, come on, where are you? And That will help me to assess <clears throat> how the neck is lining up with the uh, with the bridge. That's good right there. Okay, so it's not it's not tipping. Got a little bit, tiny, tiny little bit of wiggle in there, but um, it's good. It's straight for our purposes here. One thing I want to explain here with these seagulls is that these old ones they went like this and then boom, where the where the the neck. The, the, the fretboard meets the body, they do this nose dive. You, you learn the hard way that if you're looking at this upper end here for reference and string height, you're getting a misinformation of the worst kind. Anyway, the other thing that we're going to look at is inside here, I, I'll maybe show you later, but um, these th this series of seagulls, and to this day, I believe, are they're bolt-ons. So, I have this, <laughs> this wonderful unit here called the Crank, okay, which uh, I don't know if you can get it anymore, but uh, the, the, the charm of this thing is, is that as you turn the handle, regardless of which direction, the, the drive will only go one, one direction. Now, I think what the problem was, why they didn't last so much, is oh look at that there's a good little bit of torque on that the mechanism was prone like i mean people in mechanic shops uh, automotive whatever there's a lot of force on that and i think they were they were you know they weren't known for um, <laughs> a long-term lifespan or they weren't perhaps robust but for this kind of job man this is perfect this is just perfect uh, and the drive on this is, for reference, is 7 sixteenths, which is fairly common. Okay, so what I did was I just torqued down the two inner bolts. They're um, usually covered by uh, like a, a paper. Uh, for this series, uh, this generation, would be a, uh, a paper um, plate or, or just covering over top of that with the, with the branding and stuff on it. So now I'm going to sight down and look at what we got going on here. Neck is perfectly straight. And you know what? I'm gonna pop this, there's our saddle. Pop that in there. 
and sight down here again. And there is easily enough room on that saddle height. I can, if I have to, I can take that down a little bit to make the guitar nice and playable, okay, which is normal, rather than taking the neck off and doing a neck reset. And I'm just pushing down on this just to simulate a little bit of pressure and see what, what happens. It's really actually quite stable. It's good. It's good. This is going to turn out well. Okay. Anyway, our next section here is going to be a little bit of housekeeping. For one, this neck is filthy. Okay. And uh, we'll have a look at the process I use for... Uh, um, for cleaning this type of uh, rosewood neck, okay? Anyway, uh, on with the show.